And welcome back to another weekend here on the Big Man's Report on News Talk 1400 and 92.3 WOND. I am your host, Blake Roselle. I want to wish you all, before we get started, um, a happy July 4th weekend. We are back, you know, for another weekend here, and I'm glad you guys are all joining me. I hope you're enjoying the start to the weekend, enjoying the start um, to, you know, a fun, adventurous, whatever you guys have planned, barbecues with your families, friends, whatever it may be, going out to dinner, all the good stuff that we like to do down here at the shore um, on the weekends in the summertime. But for my show and for me to you, I want to wish everyone a happy July 4th weekend. And thank you all for tuning in on this Saturday evening. Um, if you missed my show from last week, I had on uh, actress Candace Keita. Okay. Uh, from Ho She's a Hollywood actress. She was um, in some of the shows such as Two and a Half Men. She just finished recording uh, and filming, actually, I should say, uh, um, you know, a, a movie for the Lifetime channel. Uh, so that'll be up on her Instagram page. Details about that when that'll be released um, some time from now. Uh, but you can check her out at Candace Keita on her Instagram page. Uh, and also on her Facebook, you can follow her for all her updates and all her posts. Uh, we had a wonderful interview. Um, she was a great person to talk to. A lot of, you know, very spiritual, a lot of uh, interesting facts about her and her family um, and how she basically got into her career and into her business. Uh, you know, she was in the movie, I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry with Adam Sandler's famous movie from 2007. Um, and she also made an appearance in Two and a Half Men in one of uh, the episodes of Charlie Sheen and John Cryer. So, um, but also she worked with lots of other Fox affiliates. Um, you know, she worked ABC Family and many, many uh, programs th uh, throughout, um, you know, our television network, I should say, right? So she's very, um, very well into her career. She's still working on projects, just got done filming a commercial out in LA. Um, so she's doing uh, her thing and I would love to have her on again. And thank you, Candace, for coming on the program. That video will, um, and also the audio will be posted on my Instagram, like I said. Uh, if you haven't checked it out already, will be a link in my bio and on my Facebook page uh, that you'll be able to check out there. So before we get started, I want to talk a little bit about um, this week and, and what I and what I have going on. So um, I posted a schedule out on my uh, on my Instagram and on my Facebook and all my other socials about my upcoming calendar for the the guests I'll have on for the month of July and into August. So I hope you guys all are tuning will be tuning in and be checking that out. I have a lot of great. Um, guests coming your way, everything from actors, uh, actresses, published authors, um, you know, uh, singers and reality TV, Netflix. I have, I have some of the cast on uh, for The Circle next week. Um, so you won't want to miss that, the return of the Easton family. Um, they, were, they were with me a few weeks ago. Um, they'll be coming back on for another interview. Um, so we're looking forward to have them on, on again. So a lot of great stuff coming your way, guys. And I really um, you know, looking forward to it. And I hope you guys are too. And thank you all for tuning in again. So let's talk a little bit about the music industry, right? We think of the music industry, think about, you know, rock and roll from the 60s or, you know, the disco era. Um, music has been a huge part, um, you know, of our time, right? What would life be without music? Okay. Now you fast forward years, um, you know, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, and now we're in the more modern era of the early 2000s, you know, late 2000s. And where are we today? Well, all that music still exists, and, and people love all different uh, genres of music, uh, all from different eras, okay? We still play it today, but a lot more recent music, and it seems to be upcoming too with, you know, you look at the social media, which has a huge influence, everything such from Instagram to TikTok, um, YouTube has been huge for years, okay? So a lot of artists are starting to put their, in, you know, their songs and their recordings on those platforms to make them um, you know, be able to be seen by lots of viewers and, uh, and gain big followings. So tonight, before I introduce my guest, um, she's an upcoming pop star uh, in the music industry. I've had a chance to speak with her uh, off the record on different occasions, um, and she's really, you know, into what she's doing. You can't miss her. She's all over Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. We'll get to all that stuff later in the interview. Um, and she has a new release song, which we'll also talk about, and we'll also talk about um, her songs, you know, stuff she's working on in the future and what we could hope to see um, come down the road. But she's very passionate into what she's doing. Um, she's already, you know, made a very big name for herself. She's doing a great job and she's killing it. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce my guest this weekend, the Saturday night, Mrs. A Star, A Star Official, I should say. Thank you. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you for coming on tonight. Um, this is going to be, I think it's going to be an awesome interview. Talk a little bit about your life growing up. Um, some things that you've that you've enjoyed, as, you know, 
throughout your youth and what got you into the music industry. So what I like to do with all my guests, I like to talk a little bit about, you know, their past, okay? And like, you know, um, their upbringing and what it's some maybe things they enjoyed, you know, because you look at some people in their industries and do they, did they, where they're at today, is that where they wanted, did they picture themselves years ago? You know, you always think, where did you start out and, you know, where did you grow up first? And we'll talk, we'll get into all that other stuff. Well, I was born in Jersey, uh, grew up in Jersey, um, LA and Miami. And LA was always somewhere I was at, uh, Beverly Hills. And then that was such a far, you know, travel spot for us. So then we started doing Florida more. And now that's where I'm at and I'm here. Mm -hmm. So that's where I grew up. Um, but I feel like a lot of artists, you know, where they're at now from where they were before, a lot of other stuff will go on before they really find themselves, I feel like. Like, you have to go through a whole entire challenge mm -hmm. till you know that's actually what you want to do. Like, obviously me, I did horseback riding, I did ice skating, I did a bunch of other stuff until I actually came back to what I did before and I'm here now and I'm like, I feel like I did all that to figure out who I am today. Mm -hmm. Like, that was just all to get off my sleeve. Right. So... You, you, so you, you're a strong believer in things that you do at a young age will kind of lead, will lead you to yeah. what your, what your, what your passion is, what your goals are. Yeah, basically, I think like all that was a purpose to get me to where I am mm -hmm. today, and to like learn from all that. So learn from those experiences that got you where you are today. But you always, so would you say you did have a passion for for different types oh, of music as a young yes. girl? Yes, it was something that was so natural for me. I was always so drawn to it. Like, music is my life, I feel like. Mm -hmm. I could always be myself through it and just embrace life. Right. Yeah. So when you look at music, too, like, expression is so important, right? I mean, what you're feeling at that time or could be a past experience, like you said, you can express that through music, right? And what's what's Absolutely. on your mind, right? It's a huge platform to do that. You should be able to express yourself and get at how you feel. I feel like music is a type of form of a story, more like a purpose. Like, be authentic within your mm -hmm. music. Like, right. it's there for other people to, you know, cling on to, to feel like they have a platform where they feel like they can go be themselves mm -hmm. within. Yeah, so, and then that's where music is so powerful, too. I mean, you look at it that way, and... You know, these people that maybe are going through something or struggling, right, at, at that instance in the, or that time in their life. And it doesn't mean that's going to be permanent, right? People yeah. go through obstacles, as you know. I mean, especially as an upcoming, you know, uh, music star, you know that there's probably going to be bumps in the road where you yeah. may not have, I mean, you may not have the days that you want to have, right? I don't think in life we have the days we want every day. I think that's what yeah. life is about. You know, there's challenges coming in, going out, and every day is going to be worth living that's what makes life so special because you never know what's coming next <laughs> yeah your way exactly you never know what's going to happen so like you know you live each day the best that you possibly can right Absolutely. and i stress that too like i mean people i mean my viewers my listeners even just like in society in general i'm always like you know and i and i it took me a while to figure out at a young age we don't really understand that right we may yeah. be have no idea about you know what we can, we are, what we are blessed with, what we are fortunate with, because Absolutely. and you, as you get older, you become more appreciative of that, right? Yeah. And you could say, as you, especially in you, in what you're doing right now, and how far you've come, and how far you're gonna go, you're <laughs> starting to, you're starting to see that, right, yourself. Yeah, I feel like there's so much more that's gonna come. You know, it's just patience and timing, and just doing what I love and getting to be surrounded by the people, you know, and meeting all different people and traveling. I think it's the best part about it because I'll be able to see like what everything's about or like how everything's different. Mm -hmm. It's always a learning process for me. Like I always want to learn. I feel like it's like so beautiful in life, like to just like take it all in. Right. Yeah. Take it all in. Learn different experiences each day. Learn something new every day. And that's mm -hmm. and that's how we grow as, as individuals. Right. That's how yeah. we grow as people. We're learning every day. We're yeah. never going to stop until we're dead. <laughs> yeah. And even at, even as adults, too, like we're learning something new every day. And yeah. like, um, you know, I, I teach in the, on the like as my my profession, what I do um, the other half of the year. And, you know, even they like some things that we talk about is as like, you know, educators were like, Oh, well, even teachers are learning things. You know, we're supposed to mm -hmm. teach, you know, young kids, right? And you're try still to teaching yourself. Exactly. I know, literally. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and you're trying to develop their minds. You're trying to help them grow and become great citizens one day in, in our world, right? But then again, you're also learning something new every, every day, like you said. And it doesn't matter. You can, doesn't matter how old you get or how old you are. You can learn something new every day. 
right? Yep. Age is just a number. Yeah. You got to keep on going. You're going to learn something every day and you put your all into it and mm -hmm. something good will come out of it. Yeah. So taking us back to, so you, you know, you said you did those things as at a young age, you know, mm -hmm. that really led you to where you are today. So walk me through. I mean, so what were some steps that you remember or that you take you you've taken to get into the music industry of where you're at today. I mean, maybe people that you've met or people that you've worked with that got you to where, helped you get to your goals and what you want to do right now. Um, so my first song I ever sang, I want to say this, was, um, it was by Annie and it was, I think it was Tomorrow. It was like, tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you, mm -hmm. tomorrow, you're only a day away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was my first song I ever sang in the car with my mom. And she knew from that day that, wow, my daughter likes music. Like, she got yeah. that whole line down. Right from that line, she goes, oh, right wow. Like, I, she, like, I yeah, know she, she loves it. Yeah. But, no, I, I've always loved music. But when I feel like I got to, like, the age of five, I went to do, you know, horseback riding. But from the age of three, I did ice skating. So I was always around, like, entertainment, like dancing or, like, entertaining people or, you know, doing something creative or fun. And then as I got older... I started, you know, going around more entertainment industry. You know, I was able to speak. I was able to understand what was going on around me. Mm -hmm. And I had a good friend of mine and he saw my like talent and he believed in me. And we went in the studio and we made some great music. And then, um, you know, he was friends with Pooh Bear. And he says, Pooh Bear, I have someone I want to show you, like, their music. So Pooh Bear heard my music that I made on my own with someone else. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I want to work with her. And ever since that day, Pooh Bear has literally been magic for me. Like, he's, like, opened doors that I don't know if they would have ever been opened, you know? Right. Like, he's made me see there's so much more to music than what you hear. There's a story behind every muse. <laughs> yeah, and that and that's so cool to talk to someone in your in your field because like you know I listen I I love music I you know <laughs> I, I listen to all different types of music but like yeah. you never really know unless you're like you said like unless you're living it or really yeah. um, doing it on a day to day basis there's so much more behind it and I feel like there is too I'm glad that you said that because. I feel like there there can be so much more that goes into it. Absolutely. You just don't know unless you're doing it, right? I, I feel like that's with a lot of things in life, you know? Going on podcasts, like, oh my God, you have to think about what you want to say, what, you know, you have to mm -hmm. prepare yourself. There's so much, I feel like, to a lot of the work we do in life yeah. that we don't know about until we're in their shoes and we're like, oh my God, I know what you're going through. Right. Like, I just feel like the music industry is something that's really special and some people, you know, don't realize it how it is a story and it can help people some other people think it's not but in my way that i see it i think it's a good thing where i'm at right now and i hope to do much more and i'm gonna do much more of course i mean yeah for you it's just it's just only the beginning right yeah absolutely so and um you know we'll get to talk about that uh your newly released single and stuff that you've been doing and stuff that you've been working on we'll get to that later um on our show but so for the most part i mean at you know young age you're you know you're you you don't you're doing different things you're you're trying out different things like you said to kind of, kind of see where you're going to land in that and right and then you know you just you're recording music and then you meet um you said you Pooh Bear right so yeah. then you started getting hooked up with all that and and then what is so from there like are you, are you like wow this is like a dream come true like you start like recording yeah, and I actually you know when I first heard myself like on an actual you know like beat and a song laid out mixed and everything mm -hmm. I was like wow I actually hear myself on a phone like not like on voice like messages or like me recording myself no I actually heard it and I saw from right. the moment I first recorded one song I saw my feature I'm like, this is it. I've always wanted to do this. I see something going here. Mm -hmm. And I'm ready. Yeah. I'm finally ready. I feel like, like I said before, I went through all those things to prepare me for this. Right. I was meant to do this the whole entire time, but I had to go through challenges before I got to this challenge. Yeah, and, and that makes so much sense, too. Like, you, as soon as you did that, you're like, I know. This is this is it. Like, no, yeah, that was it. it. But from the start, I worked with Pooh Bear. I, like I said, I've learned a lot. I've gotten to meet a lot of people from Justin Bieber to many more. Um, and it's been an amazing experience. And that ain't it. It's going to keep going, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'll be able to get to make music with other people over time and travel the world, maybe go on tour. and Yeah. 
and all lots of great stuff to come. I know, right? And embrace the opportunity, embrace embrace the moment. Because at the same time, and you know this, and you'll and you'll continue this as you move along your career. You're you personally, you know, with what you're doing is not only doing something that you love, but you're benefiting someone else's life each and every day. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you'll 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 see that and you'll know that. Yeah, a lot of the songs that I have um, gotten done, like have laid and everything and all that and that are mixed, um, a lot of the songs are about what I've been through and I'm hoping that what I've been through can maybe lay on someone else's shoulder and they can cling on to it. Maybe they've gone through the same experience and they can rely on my song to help them out through what they're going through or what they've been through. Right. Because when I was growing up, we definitely didn't have stuff like that. We didn't have like, you know, like Juice World. We didn't have like all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, Juice World was just getting big, like when when I was figuring out what I wanted to do. Yeah, and and it's, and we go back to like the internet and social media and all that stuff too. And it's like, you know, there are so many outlets for people to be able to you know hear music and just watch different things that will help them get through, you know, what they're going through. And it's it, it's and it's amazing too because you know. You never know what's going on in someone's life, right? I mean, you, you can look at you can look at a person, and you 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 may know nothing about them, you know, not one iota about that person. To them, on the on the surface, they can look happy, they can look like they're enjoying themselves, but you have no idea between their eyes like what's going on in their well, mind. That's where the filter comes in, yes. and then that's where the no filter comes mm-hmm. in when you want to be yourself and you know show who you are. And I feel like that's who I want to be because my whole entire life, I feel like I've always you know hid behind the shadows like to try to feel comfort to not feel like I was ever getting talked about or looked at wrong or this or that or to give me comfort and I realized no you're to grow in life you can't always be comfortable you need to feel uncomfortable to grow in life you need to get outside of the box you need to feel weird and you need to overcome that weird you know what I mean exactly and that's so important too for like our listeners like you know do getting outside the your comfort zone is what's going to help you grow I right. feel like and, that's where no filter came in. Yeah. Getting and, out of my comfort zone, really actually mm-hmm. putting it into context, like saying, this is it. No filter is it. This is the story, and that's it. And it's finally there. It's yeah. out there for the world to see. And it's like, you know what? It's a good thing it's there, but we don't know where it's going to go. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's a never knowing thing in this type of like situation. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I'm just happy it's out. Yeah. The song and. And we're gonna and we're gonna talk about that too. So after the break, we'll talk a little bit about that um, your your song and and what you put into it and what you wanted to get out of it and where we can all hear it and stuff like that. <laughs> so before we do go to the, to the break, though, I I want to uh, ask you what what goes into the recording process when you're recording a song. Now I know your head's probably spinning. No, a lot. no, that that's, <laughs> that one's that one's easy for me because I feel like I learned it over time. So basically, you go into the studio. A lot of times, you know, me and Pooh Bear. We don't write before, but we have the idea before. Yeah. Like, we are like, okay, who are you? What is your favorite hobby? What do you like to do? What do you think about daily? What do you eat? Like, you know that song, Yummy? Yeah, you got that? Yeah. Yeah. Justin Bieber, he Mm -hmm. made that song, and it was about, like, yummy, like, something like that. Yeah. So, basically, you know, going into the studio, you go in, you sit down, you start hearing the beats. If you want to make a beat, blank, like, there, that. And you go in and, you know, you start laying down your tracks, your music, and then you start moving it around, do what you got to do. And then you hear it, check it out, maybe do some extra bars on it, mm-hmm. at lives, all that kind of stuff. And then over time, you got to get it mixed and then you're good to go. Right. So obviously <laughs> it all starts, writing. it all starts out with an idea. Like what do you, you know, so you, whatever you're thinking that week or that, yeah. hey, you know, I want to put this into a song, right? Yeah, so that's pretty, pretty much what happens, right? Yeah. You put, you say, I'm, whatever you're thinking, let's put this into a song or emotionally what you're feeling. Like, you know, yeah. I, I want to express myself in this way, so I'm going to do a song about this. Like you said, yeah. the whole no filter thing. Yeah. So um, so there's a, is there, is it, is the process, <laughs> the process real tedious? I mean, do you, but you're used to it by now, right? Yes. I mean, I've gone into the studio and I've laid a song in one day like done it in one day and then I would maybe come back the next day and be like mm, I'm gonna fix this maybe maybe not so it was all edited in one day or no it was recorded in one day but recorded you had to do all the in one day and process. they do the editing you know there's not so much editing you do into it it's just the BPMs what they have mm-hmm. to move them around right. you know sound motion all that Right, so I feel like that, <laughs> that the, the person's job behind the uh, the glass doing all that stuff, I feel like that's got to be tough. The engineer, yeah. The engineer has got to be the tough, producer. right? producer, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of work, you know? 
even yeah. writing, like, uh, a lot of times I have a writer's block, and that mm. sucks, because right. I feel like I'm thinking so much all the time, and there's too much going on around me. Right. I'm like, oh, shit, I gotta stop and pay attention and be like, oh, crap, mm. I gotta... I got to get back into my, out yeah. of my writer's block. <laughs> Sometimes you're like, you get in the groove and then you may feel like you lose it for a little bit. And you're like, oh, hold on, let me backtrack here. Let me, I got to redo this That's again. That's the challenge as yeah. an artist. They feel like there's going to be a lot of things that are going to come your way and you're going to be like, oh my God, what am I going to do? How do I get out of this? Well, that's the challenge. Mm -hmm. You got to figure it out. Right. You got to, you got to find a way to dig yourself out of it, right? You oh, can't yeah. bury yourself. You can't be upset about it. You just kind of, um, you have to just kind of just go. Yeah. Right. And you know, you're thinking like. Well, hey, it's it didn't go well this way, but I'm going to I'm going to pick up. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow when I have some clear headspace. I'm going to try again. Yeah, I'm going to finish this. Right. Yeah, yeah. So. it's been like that maybe once or twice for me, but <laughs> I've always pushed through it because I love music, you know, and I yeah. just love being in the studio. Yeah. So but, and, and obviously the passions there. Right. I mean, you have to have a passion for it. Right. You're not I mean, you're not doing this because, hey, you know, I. I'm not doing it because my parents want me to do it, right. and I'm not doing it because someone else wants me to do it. I'm doing it because I want to do it because I feel like it's always been natural for me. Like mm -hmm. I said, it's my drive. It's, you know, my sleep. You know, it's wake up, night for me. It's everything. Yeah. So natural. I've always been driven to it. Like I said, it's it's so natural for me. It's not even like it's a job. It's just like it gets me energy to keep going. Yeah. Yeah, you keep getting fueled. The more you do uh -huh. it, you're getting more fueled. Hey, I want to do this now. I want to, um, next week, I want to, a couple of weeks from now, I want to go do that. Yeah. My head is all over the place. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always wanting to do something new. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I get off track with that, but it's a good thing at the same time because I feel like it's what's going to keep me, you know, going for the rest of my life. Right. So you, you, you see the end goal. <laughs> and that's why, I mean, it's also, that's not only the passion and the love for what you do. But you see the end goal and what you where you might be able to be at the finish line, and you know just keep going beyond, right? Not even that there's going to be a finish line. You're just going to keep doing as much as you can and keep going, right? Pretty much. That's so. that's life. I feel like that's where I'm going. <laughs> so we're going to take a quick break. So um, when we get back, we will chat more with A Star Official about her um, newly released single that we'll talk about and some of her upcoming works, and you know what she enjoyed about um, you know different parts of the industry. Um, and some people maybe that she worked with. So uh, we'll keep it all right here on the Big Rams Report Live on News Talk 1492.3 WOND. I am your host, Blake Rosell. We will be right back. Do not go anywhere. <laughs>